Hi there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to save a lot of time in email templates for Microsoft 365, and this is gonna be how to do this one. So basically, this is your Microsoft, right? Or Outlook, sorry about that. And this is still the old Outlook. As you can see in the top right section, I turned the new Outlook off. Reason is that there are some bugs for the new Outlook that can only be accessed for the old one. Much as like this all apps right here, which is what we're gonna need. I sincerely cannot find it on the new Outlook. Anyway, if you click on this one, as you can see, you don't have any apps yet because I have already enabled the application or add-ins that we need. So you're gonna see here my template, simply click on it and it should look like this. After clicking my templates, you'll get directed on this website. And you can see right there, my templates right here. So you can view and manage templates over here. If you click on it, there are the templates we're looking for. So by default, you cannot see it on any ribbon here. So make sure you add an email first. And then you'll see match templates over here. Click on it. And there are some default that we can use from. So if you click on the priority right there, easy as that, it will intro or rather input on your email. Now, if you want to use another one, like so, you can choose anything here. Now, for example, we're not going to use the default or auto-generated preset templates on Microsoft Outlook. Rather, we're going to use our own. So I'm going to click on template right there. Let's name our template, for example, template one. And basically for this one, I'm going to say, hello, I need a meeting. Or right, let's just say, I need a meeting right now. And then click on save. And there we have it. The template was right there. Easy as that. And by the way, guys, you can click or type in anything here. It doesn't really matter if I'm choosing I need a meeting right here. There is no limit on this template section. It is actually for the free trial version also. So you don't if you don't have the Microsoft 365 version um, subscription, don't worry about that one. You'll be good to go right here. So click on template one more time. Let's try another one. So I'm going to click on sample two. And for this one, I'm going to type in a proper body of the letter. So hello. So this is my sample too. If I click on it, you'll see that I have this body. Now, this is good enough for now if you want, but I suggest edit it a little bit more to make it more stand out. So for example, if you want to highlight the leave option, of course, change the color. Easy as that. Let me just do something here real quickly. And then if you want to highlight or bold the regards, of course, you can do that also. And by the way, guys, you can also change the font size. It's going to be by your own discretion, by your own choices. But again, this is how you add a template. You can delete templates like so. And also, you can add some more. Basically, that's it. So here's another example regarding um, Outlook templates. As you can see right here, I have a body of a letter. Hello. I would like to invite you to attend this meeting. Here's the meeting link. And also I have another link regarding YouTube video. So the idea of this example is I want to show you regarding hyperlinks. It's pretty important regarding your meeting, especially if you're having Zoom meeting or Google meeting, whatever you please. So again, to save this exact template, click my templates right there, open it up, click on this icon plus template, copy everything, and then basically paste it right there. Now you can edit some more. For example, you want to add some hello as Tim guest, comma, or you can add another link right here. For example, let's just say here is another one. And for just for discussion purposes, I'm going to copy this one. And let's say it's not your link. Okay. I'm just going to paste it right here. Add a sample title or let's just say sample template. Click save and you'll be good to go. Now to go back on the email, let me just type in a new one. For example, going to be home, new email, and basically with this one, my templates, and of course, I'm going to use it as it is. With one click of a button, I have this email body that I can use from now on. I don't have to type everything. Imagine if you're typing hundreds of fonts or thousands of fonts. With one click, you just have to make an effort on the first trial, make a template, and then basically save the template. And from now on, you can use that template for future references. And with that being said, you can just add a recipient and you'll be good to go. And basically, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye for now.